Hey traders, the first pair we have on our watch list would be Aussie Yen. So previously prices made a high over here and this swing actually failed to make a higher high. So which means that this would be our previous high now. We are looking for a trade when we get a pullback towards this structure and when it happens we buy at this level. So this level is actually confluence with a 618 level and we should get at least a one to one upon previous high. So we put our stop loss just below this week. As you can see that this is a structure. And if prices close below the week, we are actually out of the trade. Next up, we have Euro CHF. Prices broke this ascending trend line, made a downside move. And here is a weak rejection before market closure last week. So we are actually waiting for a pullback onto previous structure over here and execute a short position with our stop loss above these highs. So you can see that this zone that I've marked out, right? There are a lot of rejections over here. Once, twice, thrice, four, five, and six times over here. So stop loss above this would be a safe area. And I'll take profit level would be previous low. You can see that this structure. Next up, we have Pound Aussie. So prior to last week, we didn't have a lot of affiliation with Pound Pairs as the Pound Pairs that we took um, took, uh, took us out for most of it. And we actually earned money from the other pairs. So still a trade to consider would be if prices comes back to retest this level. And you can see that there is a trend line here. So look to sell if you get a pullback and aim for previous low. So um, for more conservative approach, your stop loss will be above this level. Otherwise, you wait for rejection candles happening here. You wait for bearish price action and have your stop loss at this level to get a great risk to reward of 1 is to 3. Next up, we have Pound CHF. You can see that prices broke this level. And now giving us a retest. So upon market opening, we hope to see a pullback onto previous structure again for a downside move. So we have a double top created over here. You can see that here's a huge zone where prices got rejected twice. And we're looking for a take profit level towards previous low over here. Lastly, we have New Zealand Yen. You can see that prices broke out of this descending trend line. However, failed to break this resistance level. So we will need a pullback towards previous structure, make a push phase breaking out of this level and a retest confirmation for a long entry towards previous high. So we can actually aim for this level or even here. 